10 vineyards, we solve a lot of problems throughout the season, but most of them are focused on the variability. So we start right at the beginning at the pruning season. When you're pruning from the crown, and you're putting these canes down on the wires here, and you wanna know your pruning quality. So you wanna know how many nodes and buds there are. We can go through and count those so you can start quantifying out your yield, but also see where you've got, you know, maybe two canes down where you should have four canes down or three canes down instead of four canes. So you can see where your pruners are doing a good job um, or maybe you know they need some extra training. Um, as we move through the seasons um, and the bud burst starts to happen and we get sort of growth where you know you've got your little buds that are about the EL up to EL10 stage, we can count those shoots individually and start to quantify out where there's heavy concentration of shoots and low concentration shoots as well. So if you're a vineyard like mine where we come through when we shoot thin, you really want to target that shoot thinning. Here we've got a quite a light area, um, further down in the vineyard it's really heavy so most of our time down there is shoot thinning and very little up here. The next part of the season that we go through is when the canopy really starts to grow. We start to do things like put your wires up and trim the top of your canopy here. So you want to do that at the right time um, and you know you scatter that across the vineyard right and you rotate round. But what it also shows you is where you've got vines that aren't doing so well. So you can quite clearly see here, we've got this vine here that has less canopy growth than something like this that's been trimmed, but it almost needs to be trimmed again. You know, the canopy's really thick um, and overgrown here. So we can help you identify those areas by showing that variability, showing those sort of sick and disease vines um, where you might need to target your labor. And then we come through into the, you know, sort of after the trimming um, season where we've got our bunches of grapes starting to form. And um, I've come through and leaf plucked this area because the canopy was really, really thick and I couldn't get the sprays on. So I was worried about getting disease. The other thing that you'll also notice here is that this vine here, you know, I've got very little bunches compared to this vine here that's thick with bunches of grapes. So it's that variability that makes it really hard to forecast. So by being able to capture that with the GoPro across your whole vineyard, um, we can add that into our yield calculations and give you actual data about what is actually there so you can capture that variability and get better forecasts.